Usually, Amazon Echo products are smash hit. So when the company's newest device is only earning three and a half star reviews, what's going on? If you ask me, people don't know what to make of the new Echo Hub and may not understand its place in the larger Alexa ecosystem. This is not just a new smart home speaker, it's something else entirely. In this review, I'll dig in on what makes the Echo Hub different from my hands-on personal experience, who it's actually geared for, what it's best at and not as good at. I'll wrap things up by going over the pros and the cons and letting you know if I think I can recommend this home hub for you. A quick note that while Amazon did provide me with an Echo Hub at no cost, the company did not request or receive any input or approvals over the content, so you can consider these thoughts all mine. Let's try to understand what Echo Hub is. As Amazon tells it, the Echo Hub is an easy to use Alexa enabled control panel for your smart home devices, but that doesn't help us very much since it sounds a lot like every other Alexa speaker device with a screen. You could say that while many other Echo devices are speaker first, the 8-inch Echo Hub is smart home first. It integrates with all of Amazon and Ring's smart home devices like alarm systems, cameras, thermostats, smart locks, and lighting, and it gives you a central place to manage control of all of them a little easier than on a typical Echo screen device. Some of the key innovations here are that it's flat and designed to be wall-mounted, though a $30 stand is available. And you can more easily customize the controls and widgets displayed on the screen and adjust which devices you see or which cameras you can pull up quickly. The small flat panel also uses presence sensing, which Amazon calls adaptive content, to detect when someone's nearby so the screen will switch automatically from a clock or photo display to the customizable smart home control screen. In my opinion, I would say this device is designed to be your smart home at a glance. Where other Alexa devices like the Echo Show 15 or the Echo Show 10 are designed to be more information focused and they'll show you things like news, weather, interesting stories, jokes, or other Alexa how-to information, the default viewing on the Echo Hub screen is your smart home and all of its gadgets. Your hub needs 24-7 power and it plugs into a wall outlet. I opted to place my hub on a stand. If you choose to wall mount this device, you can get a wall rated conduit to hide the power cable inside inside your wall, but this is a little more trouble than I think it's worth. Another option is to use power over Ethernet with a compatible USB-C converter. What can Echo Hub do? After spending several weeks with this device here in my home, I'd say the Amazon Echo Hub has four key features. First, it works as a smart home security hub. Anyone who has a home alarm system or had a home alarm system, say more than 10 years ago, likely remembers you needed to have a hardwired central panel in order to arm and disarm the alarm. Now, it kind of looks like we're back to the future with this concept, which is meant to be placed in a central location inside your home. Echo Hub makes an ideal alarm system control panel. I've had a ring alarm system for many years and I like the idea of a hub as a central panel. My Echo Hub here connected with the Ring Alarm 2 almost automatically. Because Alexa devices can access smart home gadgets that I've already set up, it just pulled in all of my key smart home gadgets and put them right in the Hub's interface, including the existing alarm system. At a glance, or when I call up the system, I can see if my home is armed or disarmed. Initially, while I was able to arm the system with a tap, when I tried to disarm it from the Hub, I got an error message saying, access code required to disarm. If you are facing this problem, it's an easy fix via a setting in the Alexa app. You can head to techgadgetscanada.com to see the review and the full instructions. Okay, on to the second key purpose of this device, and that is as a security camera feed. One of the other interesting things I found about the Echo Hub is that it can show a longer term feed of any of your cameras. Just choose which one you want to keep an eye on and open it on the screen. It'll stay open here for about seven minutes. That seems to be a bit of a newer feature since some other Echo Show devices I've tried do let you drop in on a camera for a short period of time, but then always return to the Alexa main screen after a few seconds. This is something many Ring customers have been asking for since it lets you use one of your cameras like a de facto baby or pet monitor. Even so, seven minutes isn't a really long time and it's kind of annoying to have to reload the camera on the screen constantly. I'd love it if I could just choose a camera to keep up on the screen for an hour or more. 
The third key purpose of Echo Hub is as a smart home control panel. You can also use this device to manage all of the lights in your home, turning each one on or off with a virtual tap. While I generally find it far more convenient just to use voice control for this kind of thing, it's good to know the home hub can become a de facto remote control too. It also works to control smart thermostats and door locks, so it can be a good way to put your home to bed all from one location. I actually found the Echo Hub also makes an ideal secondary control panel to keep in the primary bedroom. This lets you see your home at a glance and secure everything at the end of the day if you've already gotten into bed. The last and maybe least important core feature of Echo Hub is that it plays music. This hub wouldn't be an Echo device without some audio capabilities. You can absolutely use it to play music, news, or podcasts, though with that said, the audio quality is not as good as some other more music-focused Echo devices. The only speakers for this one live in the top of the device, and they are quite small. Amazon doesn't give any information about the wattage or power of these speakers, so I can really just describe them as adequate. While they're not high fidelity and they're not going to fill a room, they're more than fine for issuing and confirming smart home commands and listening to audio if you happen to be nearby. You might be thinking I skipped the whole setup process, but in truth, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that because like pretty much every Echo device I've configured in the last five years or so, this one was a breeze. Plug it in and it's automatically going to put itself into setup mode. You just need to follow a few prompts. I had mine online and connected to my smart home in just a few minutes. Amazon might be one of the few smart home corporations that gets this better than right. In my opinion, every one of its gadgets is super easy whether you're a novice or an experienced smart home guru. Let's take a closer look at your hub dashboard. On the screen, you'll have a series of boxes or widgets, and you can adjust the order in which these display and choose to show or hide any of them. Along the left-hand side is a list that shows a shortcut for home and your routines, and then a list of your rooms. Taking up most of the real estate on the screen are the larger widgets, things like your cameras and the weather. Then along the bottom, there's a list of buttons, which you can tap on to open more options for each. While Amazon describes the screen as customizable, there's not a whole lot more you can do other than change the order in which they show. For example, I'd been hoping to get the security widget to display in a large box on the screen so I could see it and all my alarm system components like the door and window sensors. But if this is possible, it wasn't intuitive how to do it. And even once I tapped on the alarm widget to open it up, the only thing I can do is view the arming status. I can't see which sensors may be open or closed and which linked cameras may be online or not. The limited viewing options here are actually quite disappointing. A key question I have is who would the Echo Hub be for? I think there are some very specific use cases where this device is going to be helpful and others where it's probably just going to be kind of frustrating. In my opinion, the new Echo Hub is a device for people looking for a slimmed down Alexa experience that can mainly be used to control smart home devices. This device is also probably best for someone who wants to wire it in and wall mount it. Any other Alexa or Echo Show device with the exception of the Echo Show 15 is not really meant to be wall mounted. Yet conversely, if you don't have need for a wall mounted option, then pretty much every other Echo Show device will still work to control your smart home, albeit with some additional taps on the screen, and those would likely give you better audio to boot. I would also say this device is not for people that already use their voice for most of their smart home control. Any other Alexa speaker or screen device again is going to give you that same level of voice control. This device is more for someone that wants a tangible touch screen, yet at the same time it's not really a good remote control because it has to be plugged in and it's designed to be mounted to a wall. At its best, it should work as a central alarm management hub for Ring Alarm 2, except at the moment, the only thing it's able to do is arm and disarm the system. There's no viewing of your alarm components. I actually had a brainwave while reviewing the hub here, and that's that Amazon should find a way to integrate the hub with a thermostat and create one dual purpose smart device that would be able to draw constant power from low voltage heating system wires. That way this device could be truly seamless and cordless on the wall, and it could serve two helpful purposes, acting as a smart thermostat, as well as also integrating all of the hub's smart home and alarm system functionality no trailing wires and no stands needed.
One of the things I noticed after using the hub for a couple weeks is its speed. Navigating with the touchscreen can be quite sluggish, taking anywhere from a second to up to eight seconds in rarer occasions to accomplish some tasks. Also, I found frequently it required several taps on some of the apps or the widgets, I guess, before anything would open. Overall, I have to say I'm incredibly conflicted about this device. It kind of seems to be bobbing aimlessly on a sea of Amazon gadgets looking for just the right port to dock in. I think for the right user with the right use case, this is going to be a handy device. But if you're just looking at this alongside more traditional Amazon speaker gadgets and you don't already have a specific reason for choosing the Echo Hub, you can probably opt out. Let's go over the pros and the cons. On the pro side, the hub is easy to set up and it's got a nice streamlined design and it's perfect for wall mounting. It's geared primarily at controlling smart home devices and uses presence sensing to decide whether to show a clock or photo screensaver or your smart home devices. And accomplishing this with no camera, by the way, built into the hub, you don't have to worry about privacy. The on-screen interface is simple and uncluttered and it makes it easy to find what you need. On the downside, the audio quality is not going to be top of the line, but you can find plenty of Echo speakers that are, like the Amazon Echo Studio or even the Echo Show 10. I also found that the screen can sometimes be slow to react, and with some products, the settings and options presented to you on screen are extremely limited. Like I said, if you know exactly what you want this device for, it's probably going to do what you need. But if you're hoping for a whole new Echo experience, this might not be enough for you. But that's why I like to share all the information and let you make your own decision. The all new Amazon Echo Hub sells for about 179 US or 239 Canadian with the additional countertop stand costing about $30 US or 39 Canadian. You can get it of course from Amazon, but if you're not sure about this Alexa device, check out some of my other reviews, including one of my all time favorites, the Echo Show 10 or the other wall mounted option, the Echo Show 15 right now.